The first of two Group 1s gets underway at 3 o'clock Hong Kong time. As Sunday, it is the Centenary Sprint Cup. And it's over the 1,200 metres. Hot King Prawn chasing that elusive Group 1. Voyage Warrior drawn one with the visor on. Zach Purton takes the ride. Wishful Thinker's got a better draw than his fourth in the HKIR Sprint. Computer Patch beaten favourite in the Bohemia Sprint Trophy over 1,000 metres. We've got Big Party coming back to the 1,200 metres. Buddies, one of two that didn't run in the HKIR sprint. The others, the 11 being a Regency legend, or the other being Regency legend. He has the blinkers off from barrier number three. Voyage Warrior and Regency legend Tom have been to Chungfa. Yeah, they have been, and the, the speed probably from the stable mates. And I don't think they'll go really fast because they won't want to uh, do each other without out of, out of a chance. A computer patch and a buddies. Matthew Chadwick back on computer patch and uh, buddies uh, here with uh, Derek Blum. Matthew Chadwick uh, has had success aboard this horse before computer patch. Forge Warrior should lob a, a nice run out of gate one for Zach Pert, an amazing star. Looks a little tricky for Big Party and uh, stronger. Horses like Wishful Thinker, Jolly Banner, and also Fat Turtle will get back and run on. Uh, Hot King Prawn goes nicely here in the morning, see if he can break through for his group one. Uh, look, he's no problems with him, his work's been good and he stretches out nicely here. So uh, Joe Moreira will take them out, barrier number two, he'll, he'll get his opportunity, uh, or Hot King Prawn. Thought this horse's work's been good, Voyage Warrior, a uh, really nice piece down the back straight here from him and he should get the best run in the race. The visor will go on him for the first time as well, so barrier one for uh, Voyage Warrior, Zach Purden and Ricky Yu teaming up. And Wishful Thinker, uh, Christoph Sumian doing the work on him. Uh, that's the horse in the red saddlecloth closest to us. And he moves nicely with a lower rated horse there, Gorgeous Inheritor. So not uh, a bad piece from him. Of course, that fourth in the group one last time. HKR sprint for Wishful Thinker. Hot King Prawn. Can he do it on Sunday and win that group one? The man aboard is his good mate, Joe Marira. Joe Hot King Prawn. He's yet to win from six goes at group one level, but can that change on Sunday? I could. He's been running well in those races that he's run. He run at, and being such a consistent horse, I gotta keep on going out there with him with confidence. You know, he's he's done nothing wrong to get me out of that thinking. Was he a bit disappointing in the Hong Kong Sprint? I think he was because just of because of the circumstances, the pace was quite fast. The winner and the horse that run second and third were quite quite far back, so they had a they had a better shot on top of us at the finishing. And so too, I, I was, wasn't able to get a clear run with him at the right time, so being held up a little bit in such a strong race is very hard for you to pick up again and be right there finishing strong, you know. But I, I don't think it was a disastrous race, I don't think it was a very bad race. I think I was just hoping to him to run a little bit better and no doubt that there was a bit of excuse. How have these trials been since the sprint? He seems very healthy, things, seems like um, as good as we would wish, he's going, all, he's going all right. Another horse in the race that you rode last time out is Computer Patch. What happened to him on New Year's Day, Joe? I think, you know, he, he was running against some younger horses and carrying, giving weight to everyone, you know. He struggled a little bit with that. Um, but he's no doubt another horse of this field that is, is, is a winning chance as well. You know, he's, he has run some really good races previously. And if he's able to produce such a form, he's no doubt going to be right there to finish with them all. They're into him early, Tom. He's 1.4 the prawn. Yeah, well, he's had uh, plenty of goes at this sort of level now. And we see week in and week out in these big races now that uh, these horses seem to do battle and someone different comes out and wins uh, just about every time. So I don't think he's, uh, what did you say, 1.1 or something, 1.2. I don't think he should be at that sort of price, Paul. No, definitely not. I think it's quite an even race, actually. So, yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely too short at the moment. Here's a look at them, a wider shot from that uh, HKIR sprint, uh, Paul. There's computer patch Jolly Banner, wishful thinker and fat turtle. The old boy Jolly Banner went a cracker. He did, didn't he? And uh, look, he's getting on. He's a nine-year-old now, is uh, Jolly Banner, but it was a nice run from him. Uh, wishful thinker, he hit the line. He got the clear running down the outside. And uh, computer patch was there for a long period, as was Voyage Warrior. All of them were there. So they've all, um, uh, you know, you can see a Hot King Prawn on the inside. And there wasn't much between them at all. So I think whoever gets the best run in the race will win. I really like the run of Wishful Thinker down the outside. I think he's ready to do something. Sumion gets on board, he, uh, board here. He ran fourth in this race uh, last year. Dennis Ship uh, trains. And his uh, last 400 of the, the sprint there certainly was the, the quickest. Uh, so I think he's a, a genuine winning chance in the race. Got buddies in the Challenge Cup here. Tom coming to the turn. He's in front. He ends up running uh, seventh. And Pat Turtle's about to get crunched turning for home. 
Yeah, he is. So watch this here. He just got completely turned sideways. Mighty giant there as well. I'm surprised the turtle was even to uh, stay up on that occasion uh, there because he just got knocked from pillar to post. But to his credit, he actually still ran pretty well into uh, a handy fourth placing there uh, behind Champions. Well, only beaten three and a half uh, lengths. The other one in the race, uh, just don't think he's quite at this level, Paul Buddies. Yeah, no, I agree totally with uh, you, Buddies. And as you say, it was a good run in the end from um, Fat Turtle because he did get uh, Polax there at the top of the straight. It was like he was at the bumper cars down on the Blackpool Pier. Uh, stronger, Tom. Down at trials down the 800 metres at Shard. Tim, what did you make of this? Yeah, well, this was on Tuesday morning for uh, Stronger. He had a nice hit out uh, here. He sat second uh, behind the leader, who was uh, very sweet orange at this point. But uh, he was never let go on this occasion by uh, Jerry Chow, who got the call up to ride him uh, this uh, morning. And you can see he's uh, certainly uh, going nicely there. Reels the horse in late in the piece. So looks to have uh, come out of that last start performance pretty well, Paul. Yeah, it was a nice, uh, nice trial, I thought. Barrier 10 is just a little bit of a concern with him where he's going to end up in the run. Regency legend Paul is first up. He's got a really good first up record. Three starts for a couple of wins. This is a trial recently at Chung Fa. Can you see him figuring it all? Yeah, look, he's, he, as you say, he's a five-year-old now. He's only had the seven starts because he has had quite a few issues. The blinkers will come off him. He was just pushed out a little bit in this trial, as you can see. Uh, it's hard to get a gauge, really, from these Chung Fa trials. Yeah, and he's been off the scene for so long. His last uh, start effort was back on the, the December 2019 I will say he's a horse that goes well fresh. He's had the fetlock injury, he's had uh, surgery for colic as well, but the trials have been OK. And I don't think he's probably too far off fitness. He's only up 11 pounds on his last uh, uh, weight. Uh, so I think Janny Shum's got him going quite nicely, but I'd be willing to include him, certainly on a place line, for the, the way he can run fresh. Well, let's put them on the line. Paul, who are you tipping in the top four? Well, I'm going to go with a horse I think is going to get the best run in the race, and that's Voyage Warrior. He should just sit in behind from barrier one. So he's on top. Hocking Prawn will be the toughest to beat, although there's no spoils there. He'll drift out. He can't start that short. Two to beat one. Uh, the five computer patch. Uh, we'll give him another chance. He was a little bit disappointed down the straight 1,000. Did uh, pull a little bit there, but maybe that was the only excuse to faster run 1,200. And then Big Party, another four-time winner over the distance. And his run down the straight 1,000 was good last time as well. So two, one, five, and seven. I'm going with the wishful thinker in the... Sprint. I think he can do something here for Redenership and uh, Christoph Sumion looks to be in really good form at the moment. Rally late in the international sprint behind uh, Danon Smash and uh, he's had a, a quiet trial since where he did close off nicely. So wishful thinker, he's at 9.9, 1.8. Price at the moment, it's still early around Hot King Prawn but I think it's far too short. Voyage Warrior will be right there to strike and Regency Legend to do something first up. So 4, 1, 2 and 11.